In our previous lectures, we complete the physiological changes of endocrine system and physiological changes in the hemodynamics of the pregnant lady. Today, we will discuss about the physiological changes in cardiovascular, cardiovascular system and respiratory system. So, what are the changes that occur in cardiovascular system? So, major changes occur in the cardiovascular system in pregnancy. The most significant of these changes occur within the first 12 weeks. The cardiac output increases because the volume increases from 5 to 6.5 liters per minute by stroke volume 10 percent and pulse rate which increases about 15 beats per minute. During the labor, the contraction may increase cardiac output by 2 liters per minute probably due to injection of uh, blood from the distended intervillous space. With progressive enlargement of the fetus, the herd and the diaphragm are displaced upward. The herd enlarged and increase in volume by 70 to 80 ml due to increased diastolic filling and muscle hypertrophy. Whenever there will be increase in diastolic volume, definitely the uh, preload uh, increases to the herd muscle. So, it, the muscle uh, of the herd, they have to pull with a great effort than that of the normal one. Uh, so, the muscle, it undergoes hypertrophy. Pregnancy may uh, proceed normally even when the mother has an artificial cardiac pacemaker. Compensations occurring mainly from increased stroke volume. The blood pressure in pregnancy, what happened to the blood pressure? The peripheral resistance decreases by nearly 50 percent. Okay because the action of the pro, uh, prostaglandins. The prostaglandin is a vasodilator. It dilate the peripheral blood vessel. So, when the peripheral vessel dilate, definitely there is in decreases into the peripheral uh, resistance. When the peripheral resistance decreases, the BP drop. The blood pressure most noticeably diastolic that is decreases mid uh, pregnancy by 10 to 20 mmHg and increases to non-pregnant level by the term. Profound uh, by the term because uh, at the term the progesterone level start to decrease and estrogen increases. Profound decrease can occur late in uh, pregnancy when lying spine due to the compression of the inferior vena cava, leading to a decreased venous return and decreased cardiac output. That is called as spine hypotension syndrome. So, spine hypotension syndrome is a condition in which the whenever the pregnant lady lie down, the pressure uh, on the inferior vena cava increases because uh, the fetus present into the womb so and the inferior vena cava is behind the uterus so the pressure uh, of the uterus uh, pull or the uh, so it presses the inferior vena cava so whenever the inferior vena cava is pressed by the womb by the fetus then the venous return to the heart decreases so when there will be a decrease in venous return then decrease in diastolic volume and that effectively decreases the cardiac output in cardiac uh, st stroke volume okay so that or uh, decreases so that is called a spine hypertension syndrome aortic compressions may also occur causing a conspicuous difference uh, between the brachial and the femoral pressure giving a pressure difference of 10 to 15 percent from the spine to the lateral uh, position it also occurs due to the compression of the aorta okay uh, when the aorta compress then definitely uh, the blood pressure coming uh, to down and going to the uh, arms they are different the balance of the vessel constructed and vessel dilated effect regulating the peripheral resistance may be the basis of the blood pressure regulation in the fee pregnancy and impl implicated in the development of the pregnancy induced hypertension so it is the same effect okay the pre if the progesterone is pre present there will be vasodilation bp low if the low level of progesterone indefinitely there will be vasoconstriction and increasing in the uh, pressure blood pressure vasodilation and hypotension also stimulate renin adjutants in the aldosterone system which play an important role in blood pressure regulation and what are the changes in the respiratory system? The level of the diaphragm rises in pregnancy and the intercostal angle increases from 68 degree in early pregnancy to 103 
in the late pregnancy because you know what uh, whenever the fetus start to grow the fetus pushes the person the foot pushes the uh, uterus uh, upside and till to the way week of 34 to 40 week of gestation the fetal uh, pushes the fe- uh, uterus to the to up to the extent that it, it start to touch that the fundus uh, now start to touch the zygoid process in the subcostal area so it presses the diaphragm so whenever it presses the diaphragm definitely there will be decrease in the uh, volume into the lung volume lung decreases so the female a lady start to breathe more rapidly so breathing become more uh, diaphragmatic than cost, uh, costal tidal volume increases 40 percent that is 500 to 700 ml due to the uh, effect of progesterone inspiratory capacity that is tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume increases progressively in the late pregnancy Respiratory rate changes slightly, hence the resting pregnant woman increases a ventilation by breathing more deeply and more f- and not more frequently. Breathlessness is common in pregnancy as maternal partial pressure of carbon dioxide is set lower to allow the fetus to offload carbon dioxide. That it's a, it is a natural mechanism that our God make it so beautiful that uh, during pregnancy the carbon dioxide level in the maternal blood decreases so this decrease in blood is very effective for the uh, diffusion of carbon dioxide from the fetus to the maternal blood so this is about that of the respiratory system and cardiovascular system